Hi, so today we're going to be doing Molly Miller. She's a part of the Indigenous Month readings as well. So we're going to look into her case here. Don't forget, you can follow me on Facebook, Tangela's Oracle, where I listed what's upcoming for the week and also information about the case if I can find it. You can also uh, check out my other page, A Lovely Mystery, where I do pick a cards, uh, monthly forecasts and love and finance. And all of that can be found in the description box or the about section. So this is Molly Miller. Molly Miller. Okay, so we see that someone is laughing here. So this means that some, this is like an evil laugh, like somebody's getting away with something. So they're laughing because they think they're getting away with something or have gotten away with something. And then you see here sacrifice, which is someone sacrificing you or another person for something that they want, or they're sacrificing you for another person. And then you have stolen. So this is a thief or someone has taken something. Someone has stolen anything, something from you. Someone has stolen your life um, or some of your possessions. So somebody is laughing about some things here um, and they sacrificed Molly for some things. And then I see something that's being taken here. Okay, so now you have here gifts, which means giving and receiving, sharing something with someone. So you could be sharing a person, you could be sharing an item, you could be sharing anything with someone, okay? And this is someone who has the capacity or the ability or the, um, or skill. So this is someone is laughing here because this person is sharing something with someone or giving someone something because see this person has the capacity to do something or this person has a skill in something okay and it's giving and receiving so this person gives and receives things here you have this person laughing about this chaos chaotic situation here concerning someone being missing okay this person has sacrificed this person so this person has given up this person for something that they wanted or just for themselves so i'm going to let you suffer because i'm not going to let myself suffer so i'm gonna sacrifice you because i'm not going to deal with something i'm gonna let you deal with it or i'm gonna let you go through that so that's me sacrificing you for myself okay here you have yes, so this is saying yes, something was taken. This is the moon card means illusions, self-deception, okay? So somebody is under the illusion or somebody is deceiving themselves about something that was taken. So I need to look into that. Okay, somebody is talking about something that was taken. So, like I said, this can be your life being stolen or somebody taking something away from you. But there's some talk about it. So, if people are talking about it. What was taken? Like, this could be her life or this could be an item. Okay? 
But then there's some self-deception that's going on here concerning her her life or an item being taken. But she's saying, yes, something was stolen from her and somebody's being uh, self-deceptive. Or maybe they deceived themselves into believing something. So she could have um, been under a false sense of security being with someone, for instance, and this person took her life. Somebody wants to go get something or someone. So this is somebody going to get something or someone. Okay. And this is someone to give. So they went to go get something or someone to give to someone else. So this is somebody doing some type of exchange here. I don't know what they were exchanging, but somebody is doing some type of exchange. Okay, now I'm going to look into these cards. Okay, this is someone from your past or someone you've known a long time. This is a pregnancy or a mother. And this is someone that's different than you. So this could be a different culture, a different background, a different religion, a different lifestyle. So here you have someone from your past, someone you've known a long time. This person is cheating. This is somebody on the side. Then you have this pregnancy or this mother, but then you have material things. So this is some type of money or any other possession that you can hold in your hand. Um, or this is someone with money. All right. Then you have someone that's different than you wanted um, a deeper connection. So this person wants more. Okay. They want something more. This is somebody being confined or restricted here. Okay, so here... Someone from your past, this is somebody that's being wounded or a traumatized child, and then someone is cheating here. So somebody is hurt over some cheating. This is someone from her past. Now, this cheating can be like you're cheating on someone, or this is somebody who's doing something that they shouldn't have shouldn't be doing. Like somebody cheats you out of something. Okay. So somebody could have been hurt about somebody cheating somebody out of something because you see here somebody was giving and receiving. They went to go get something and receive. So they're exchanging something. So somebody was cheating someone out of something and someone got hurt. Here you have this mother or this could be a pregnancy as well. And then um, you have someone passing on, crossing, crossing over, passing on. And then this is material things. Oh, so um, this mother could be dealing with someone pass it on due to some material things or something that you can hold in your hand. It doesn't necessarily have to be money. It could be just be an item. Here, did you see something is taken here. People talking about it. But then you have the sharing and gift here. So now you have someone that's different than you. This person admires you. This person wants a deeper connection to you. So it's somebody that's not like you. You know how you meet somebody and they're totally opposite of you, but you like this person for whatever reason and you want a better or closer relationship with this person. So this is here. Then you have somebody being confined or restricted. 
So she could have been held down or restricted in some type of way. Her movement's restricted. She could have been confined to a space. But then there's also some violence related to that. So this is Molly Miller. Tell me what you think in the comment section.